Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros and this is the second part of how to build a bulge system in Maya with Matrix. In the first part we saw how to build a collision system based on a matrix and, and let's say imaginary sphere uh, built from it. I can see here we, we have the radius, we can define the radius and so on. So what we are going to do in this part of the tutorial, we are going to add a fake volume preservation. Uh, this means after our collision area, we are going to create a push area for vertices, then it's going to create this sort of like a bulge system where um, it's going to be uh, the, our sort of volume preservation. To do so, we are going to uh, create this area with pushing normal of our, uh, of our mesh based on, of an amount that depends on the radius and how much we're going down. Um, we're pushing down the vertices, sorry. <laughs> so how much we go down, how much we push the vertex down. Um, and actually to do so, what we're going to see, uh, I'll explain now so it will be clear later, we are going to get the minimum length of uh, our matrices. So this means uh, much smaller is this value and much higher is how we push the, the vertices. Um, so, what to do? Okay, I think uh, uh, the theory is there. Uh, probably I'll miss something and I will explain why I will build it. So first things first, we are going to uh, create the, the fall of uh, the fall of area. So it means uh, we're going to get the change range and this is going to affect uh, the normal, um, the normal deform the push deformer, so we, the normal of our meshes. Um, so we get all the length and we multiply for from the radius to our radius plus the offset so this is our fall off area it's going to end it is going to 0 to 1 uh, let's say actually immediately create uh, the push deformer so let's get point normal right and we are going to actually let add so we're going to add the normal value to our point position and we are going to set this one as uh, as a new rest mesh there you go so this one is the mesh that we collide so the, the vertex pushing down and these are our normal mesh meshes and there are our new meshes with the uh, normal bit on top so we can now compound this one okay l so if you press L, it's kind of clean up all uh, all uh, the graphs. So what we are going to do now, we are going to first of all multiply multiply our normals by our new range. Okay. And if you see now we have a certain offset. Uh, the offset is uh, granted because it's zero when there is the collision and is one when is far, when the offset is is done. So I show you when well, we increase it and we decrease it. We don't use that actually as a multiplication, even if we do now, just as a, just to visualize the value. Uh, we use this one as a range where we are going to define the to draw now um, our curve. So what we want our uh, silhouette. So what we want from that is just a value zero to one. And now let's. Let's connect this one to our curve and this is our multiply. And now this one, it will be our bulge silhouette. So we can create a point on position 0 0.5 to 1. This will be value 0. And let's draw a little bit. If you, can, you can see already now the, the shape that we are going to design. Um, this one will be more rigid. So this, uh, the 0 is the part with the collision, uh, what of the collision area instead this one is our uh, fall of area or when it's finished. So let's create some smoothness here. Here you go. And we have our like uh, volume area. Uh, here you go. It's good. Okay. Uh, a couple of things. If you see, the volume is always uh, higher, and we have this problem. That when we are going closer, uh, closers mean when we already interact with the with the radius. Sorry, with the offset. So this is our offset. This is our radius. There is already um, an interpolation. This, there is already the push of the the vertices, 
and we don't want that. We, don't, we want to happen these things only when we have the collision. So we, we need to uh, build a system that detect that one. Uh, before we go further with that, let's go to the multiplication area and let's create an input. Say, uh, just because I'm lazy, I use this one just to create a, an input value. Okay, and this will be our strength. So we can multiply this push for our strength as well. If you we go out, let's create an input here. And this is our strength. So now we have another input. So now it's zero actually. So let's push it. And this is how much we want to push the area. So let's do one at the moment, but if you want, you can and you can play with that with this value. Uh, let's come back to the values, uh, to the compound. So what do we want now is to get all the length. This is our length. If you want to double check, if you go outside the compound, you can see this is the length. Let's go to the length. Cool. We, we need to get the minimum value of the length. So this means we're using a node called uh, array bounds. Array bounds. If I'm not wrong, yes, array, array bounds of our length. So this one gives us the minimum value. So, the, like I said, the minimum value is mean is the is the shorter range. So it's mean the one which is pushing more. We are going to create uh, another set range where we are going to define. Uh, it's sort of like inverse. So we are going to one to zero when um, one is. Um, well, one is zero, and the end point is when our radius ends. So we uh, go to one to zero. So this means when we have zero, the value is one, and when is the there is a uh, there is a um, the minimum value is the radius is going to be zero. If we multiply this one to our multiplication, you're going to reduce, of course. But if you see now, you don't have any more the collision. You have a more progressive uh, area now. Let's increase the degree value just to have a better visualization. See, like you, you can see when it starts to move, when we see, we see the first red point, that is our collision system, you see? You can see here, the mesh just start and increase it as much when you go down. And that's it for today. Thank you very much to follow this video. Of course, leave any comment below, uh, give me any feedback, I will super happy to read. Have a lovely day, thank you very much to watch again, bye.